we decided we wanted to go into business. But that's a pretty imprecise concept. And, and so we spent、uh, several months trying to define what made us unusual. But what was our, our unique concept? What, what was our sort of worthy fantasy、uh, that made us different than other people? Uh, so it justified us going into business. So, so in our case,、uh, we wanted to go into the、um, corporate advisory business, the MA business, as、um, unlikely as it is looking backwards at that time, there were no MA boutiques. And so we were the first. I thought this would be easy. People would just hire us. I didn't realize that when you missed the rest of Lehman Brothers and you had no brand name, that people would be、um, reluctant to use the same people that they trusted completely to do their work before. It would be like a doctor and you had patients and You just happen to switch offices. Why does somebody care where your office is located? You're the same doctor giving the same advice. Apparently, it doesn't work that way in the business community. And, and so we had a, a, a very rough time. We sent out you know, about 500、uh, letters、uh, to people we knew saying, Hi, here's our new company, Blackstone. We're in business. We'd love to serve you. Uh, and the response to that,、uh, I thought the phones would ring off the hook.、Uh, the response to it was nothing. The phone never rang. And I, I learned as an entrepreneur, part of、uh, being an entrepreneur is, is uh, suffering uh, uh, pain, uh, psychic pain.、Uh, you get very little support.、You're, You're really on your own.、Uh, you know, if you do a startup, you, you, you have to actually do virtually every function yourself, you know, making an office lease and figuring out how to get a Xerox machine and, and you know, sort of if, if you wanted coffee, where's, where's, where's your hot plate or whatever. The reality of it was, oh my goodness, what did I do? And, The problem is, once you launch the ship, it either stays on the water or it goes down below. And, you know, I was committed、uh, to making sure, you know, it didn't, didn't go down. What you have to do is, it's, it's almost like an athlete. You have to suck it up and go through whatever that wall of pain is that you do in training. Uh, for an athletic event.、Um, you know, runners do that、uh, when they're doing、uh, marathons. Almost every athlete、uh, experiences that.、Uh, you, you, you have to reassess where you are, make sure what you're doing as a vision is still in touch with reality.、Uh, and if people just aren't responding, you know, you try different ways, but you never give up. You never stop because you will prevail if you have a worthy fantasy that, that is in touch with reality, where you're delivering something new and really great、uh, to people.、Uh, and the fact that they're not accepting you is just temporary. And you have to outlast them. And you never stop. A normal idea of risk is that you're not sure what's going to happen. You're in the hands of random forces, but somehow you decide to build some small rowboat and you know, see if you could make it across an ocean.、Uh, that sounds pretty dangerous and nonsensical to me.、Uh, I, I, I believe in only taking a new step. Uh, if you've engineered out almost all the risk. And, and what people mistake for risk is doing something that other people happen not to be doing. 
It, it doesn't have to be risky. If you make decisions of that type, where you see something that you could explain to other people, um, that's sort of close to a can't lose, you'll, you'll find that hardly anybody follows you. It's one of those odd parts of the human condition. I, I don't fully understand it. People are comfortable in their own zone. They, they don't like change as a rule, and they certainly don't like change when, when they've lost a bunch of money. Uh, and I, 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 I'm just sort of objective. I, maybe I, you know, like had a bad upbringing or something. I lost nerve endings, but I don't, I don't think it requires any bravery at all. In fact, it's the opposite of taking risk. Uh, and one of the other advantages, if you're doing something nobody else is, you don't have much competition. Uh, so I'm completely comfortable in, in, in that kind of world. And if we're gonna be in a world that doesn't have that much value, then we have to make sure that we're not losing capital. We train people here uh, how to de-risk uh, investments. So, so when you say entrepreneurs take risk, um, almost every entrepreneur who does something doesn't think it's risky or they wouldn't do it. Now, the fact that a lot of them are wrong uh, is a different issue, but you don't have to be wrong. Nothing lasts forever in finance because there are no patents in finance. So if you do something that's innovative and, 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 and clever in a good sense, uh, you will have competitors rush in uh, to do it and, and you know, compete with you and also try and uh, take margins down. Uh, so we're in a business of continual innovation. And if you don't understand that, you may start out well doing something, but by the time the competition comes in and you've lost whatever unique insight you had starting that, then um, you, you basically wither away. And there are many firms, many businesses generally, you don't have to be on Wall Street, that, that literally just go out of business. Um, uh, usually not just on one bad thing, it's they don't have a strategy that provides new things all the time. And, and so if you don't have that entrepreneurial um, insight and culture, your, your firm, your business can never prosper for the long term. And in that sense, it could never be institutionalized. And, and so that's such a strong um, uh, imperative that everybody who comes here to work understands it. How do they understand it? We teach it all the time. 